Hello and welcome to this new practical tutorial. In this tutorial, I am including some instructions and I'm going to show you some tips, and ideas, and making assembly. In this tutorial, we're going to make a plastic can. Let's make a sketch for it. Circle. Dimension 50 millimeters and let's extrude it to hundred millimeter. So now we have this part. I'm going to make an edge for the cap. So let's create a sketch on top surface and make an offset. As you notice, this yellow profile is already sketched by Inventor and we can make an offset from it and give that offset a dimension of one millimeter. So now we have to close profile and let's make a cut for the cam. Let's go 3D model, extrude, let's choose the profile and choose cut, then millimeter. You can see a preview here. Okay. Now let's make a shell for one millimeter. Okay. And here, let's make a small fillet. As we already made a shell for one millimeter, so the shell is recommended to be less than one millimeter or two millimeter it will be very thin if we have a look inside if you go to view So you can notice here, it's kind of very thin. Now let's change the fillet. Edit, edit feature to be 0.5 millimeter. So, so it looks more logical now so now we have the first part of the can and let's make a new part let's save it make a new folder can part one okay make a new part for the cap create Let's make a uh, to the sketch. We have to remember the part one dimensions so in order to the cap to match the bottom part. Let's give it dimension to be fifty millimeter and let's extrude it to And this time, 12 or 11 millimeter, because we will need a uh, one millimeter offset. As we remember, we have the, the cut for the cap is 10 millimeter. So we will have 
uh, one millimeter in the top to be like the cover now let's make a cut on this cap create sketch and again as you notice here the yellow profile is already sketched and you can directly extrude it unlike SolidWorks that you need to project the the profile first so this is kind of difference between Inventor and SolidWorks so let's make an offset and again let's make it to be one millimeter and let's cut be the model extrude and choose the cut here to be 10 millimeter it is simple mathematical calculation so now we have this one millimeter in the top to cover this cap okay and let's make affiliate of half millimeter okay so now we have the cap and the bottom part ready for assembly let's save this part 2 the cap let's now make a new assembly from new you have assembly and you, st you choose the standard millimeter or the metric system the most used system create and this make place you have the can parts part one and press escape so not to duplicate and place the cap open so now we have unscape the cap on the bottom of the cam ready just give them some colors this give this blue color and the cap just give it light blue okay so now let's make the constraints first of all we need a concentric constraint between this cylinder and this cylinder so we go to Read the model so we go to a simple constraint and here we have the concentric or insert constraint let's choose it let's choose this cylinder and this cylinder so we have this okay so now we have this can is concentric on the top of first part To delete the constraint, we can go to the cons insert delete. So now it is no longer constraint. So this tutorial was a start tutorial in using assembly uh, constraints, and I hope it is useful. Thanks for watching.